my name is Josh and I am your host. Now before I get into today's video I would like to first of all tell you a bit about the channel because this is of course the first video. Now the channel I have set up um, for the basic reason of being able to inspire people and help people with building uh, creatively in Minecraft and the channel will specifically focus on the realistic aspect of it so building cities for example now the, this uh, channel will feature showcases tutorials tips and tricks and possibly a bit more but in today's video I want to start just a small series I'm going to be doing which is building cars in Minecraft and I have behind me a row of estate cars now there are uh, a variety of different ways to create cars in Minecraft and the main two is to either build a real car or to just wing it like I have here now the first option is a lot more difficult because you have to well you want to try and get it from a picture and you want to try and copy it basically uh, to make it look exactly like the real thing and that is very difficult to do and quite often it won't look that good whereas if you wing it it's just really simple to do easier and I find it actually looks uh, better for the end result and so that's what I'm going to be doing so today's tutorial is obviously the estate cars now I have just two normal ones here different design at the um, back and for the lights and then these two we have police car now because I'm British I've done a British one we have a police car here and then ambulance vehicle right here also British but I'm going to be showing you just a, uh, how to make the basic car and then just going to tell you how to basically make it into the police and ambulance version because it is just really simple um, but we're going to start with the car so first of all what you want to do is grab the color of your choice I'm using blue concrete because I'm just going to copy off this one and then you also want to get black concrete powder for the wheels and a stone button for um, like the little hubcap part and you're going to want to get some bedrock and if the cow moves um, a ladder for the grill pot so I've already laid out here um, and now it's three wide and seven in length total and when building in Minecraft because um, I do all my builds at a rough 1.5 to 1 scale and when you're doing that you don't want to go past seven blocks for a car and you don't want to go any more than three wide either so we've got three wide here and then we've left a gap here for the wheels and then we've got three blocks another wheel and then the last part so just put the wheels in and put the buttons on those and then around the outside leaving the center block at the front place the color of your choice and then also put one uh, or two in here so one at the wheel and then the behind and then what you could also do is just put them in the ground it's not necessary because they're going to be covered up anyway but that's something you can do then get your bedrock place that in the gap you left at the front and then place the ladder on top of that now for the lights you can either um, use buttons so birch for the um, front lights and acacia for the back or you can use an item frame with a block inside it I actually prefer the button design because they're uh, smaller and it just fits in with the car a bit nicer so just put those on at the ends of the blocks there now for the windows you can use stained glass of your choice I would recommend either dark grey or black because uh, they often seem to go better with the build so to do that behind the front wheel just put the bow and then just bring it 
round so you've got three along there and then three and then three and then just put this one at the back now there are no blue stairs um, in minecraft so what I'm using is prismarine but you're gonna wanna get some stairs and just place it like that against the card to sort of make a slanting effect alternatively you can build it like this to give a more flat effect there in a little window in here um, I'm going to actually do that and then something to um, on top of the wheel put another stair now you can do it like that to make the window slant upwards or you can do it like that to make the window slant downwards I am going to make the window slant upwards here um, now inside the car you're going to want to get a slab um, just any slab and really any stair um, just place the two stairs in the front part like that and then at the back just place the stone slab now over here, uh, just in here place the glass and then get the carpet that matches the colour of your vehicle and just place that over all of the glass and then over the um, stairs as well if you're doing this one don't do it over the um, back two but the way I'm doing it because um, I don't have it slanting like that then I can put that on there also what you're going to want to do is put the carpet on the bonnet as well just to cover up the um, bedrock and the wheels and now um, this is not uh, necessary this part um, but you're going to want to put the mirrors in so you need to if you do do this you need a lever and a skull of some kind and just put any block down and try and slant them in um, so it's a lot better if you try and slant them in than if you just do it um, flat on like that it just looks a bit better so um, sl make sure you uh, slant them in put the lever underneath there and something I've forgotten is the tripwire hook at the back of this in the middle just to show like a little handle for the boot now the back part can be altered to having stairs there and then a slab in the middle but um, for that you would then have to use the item frames I think this method actually looks a bit better but I don't like the item frame so I um, do it like this now you can something I forgot to say is in here you can use just a plain block like that but it it won't look as good and so I'd suggest using the stairs but now on to the police and ambulance versions all you really need to do is along the bottom instead of having the color of your choice just put in whatever emergency service color scheme um, you want to and then on top one back from the front of the window just put two daylight sensors either side make sure you turn them to blue and then in the middle just put a never brick stair now for British police cars we have sort of like a blue and yellow pattern along here and then we have a red one like a red stripey part in there um, but then the rest of the car is either going to be grey like I've got on here or white like on here and it's literally there's no difference between these and the only addition is going to be the different pattern and the light so that's all you need to worry about for that and that is the end of the video thank you all so much for watching I hope you found this useful uh, we will be doing another car tutorial next week um, but yeah like I said thank you all for watching uh, if you have discord join our discord server it is in the description also go and follow us on twitter and thank you all for watching and i'll see you next time